Hi, Super Spruce here, back with, an, with another Answer My Dimensions New Game Minus 5 video, episode 4. And you can see I've grinded a lot of paradoxes. I've even grind. I even got this upgrade here. Time speed is two times faster. And it was 27 paradoxes, and it jumped up all the way up to probably 2187 paradoxes, which tells me that this upgrade is probably has a double exponential scaling for some reason, even though I get paradoxes at basically a linear rate at this point. So, yeah, I don't know why. But anyway, I have well enough paradoxes to get a whole bunch of upgrades here. And I think I want to choose um, these two upgrades. I Did I even purchase this on camera? This only went from two to three times, so... That's kind of disappointing, but I can get a about eight times boost to Paradox Mentions 1 and 4, plus a this amount tick speed multiplier increase, which effectively is like a, about a 7-ish percent boost to Galaxies. So, and it's based on my Paradoxes, so that means the more Paradoxes I get, the better this multiplier is and galaxies are not very powerful in new game minus three or minus four so i'm not sure how powerful this is going to be but yeah at least i'm getting more paradox power and another thing I, thing I can get is the fourth paradox dimension i'm not sure if i want to do that versus like dimension multiplier increases two times faster just i've already i already have, i think i have one of these I don't even know what dimension multiplier increases two times faster really means. Um, it seems pretty powerful, so I'm just going to get it. And it does go up to four times, but now this upgrade is significantly weaker. I don't think the tick speed is going to really mean much. I, I did go from 20 to 21 antimatter per second, so at least that's something. And there really isn't much I can do. Paradox dimensions look weaker just because the time speed is two times an additional two times faster, which means I can, I've been doing it a lot off camera, I can get to like a thousand antimatter where I can paradox for, I, I can reach that in like 15-ish minutes, I think. I, I haven't really actually calculated, calculated the time yet, but I don't even know what to do at this point. Like, there isn't much to do. I could do a time dimension shift, um, and then, I mean, I can get second dimensions, I can get these, but it doesn't really do much for me. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do a time dimension shift, and I'll show you what's going on. So I'm, I still start at zero antimatter per second. It still takes a very long time, unfortunately, for this to actually go up, even with, you know, a time dimension shift, which should theoretically make the tick speed upgrades go faster. You can you can see it's just ah. I'm gonna do a time lapse of this just to show you what the runs are like at this point. Well, 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 it's been like two hours. I'm not going to include all this time lapse. I'm up to 800,000 antimatter. I still have plenty of time left for the matter, which is interesting. And I can probably like, let's see if I can do another time dimension shift. I can, just barely. And I mean, I like to see what, what I can do here, but really, this isn't going to do much. Even with all of these purchases, 
It's, <laughs> it's like, even then, I'm only making just like four, five, six antimatter per second. So, yeah, another time dimension shift here. And this time, I'm not going to do a time lapse because it's basically the same as before. So, yeah, this is 16 third time dimensions. It's going to be significantly harder to get the fourth time dimension. But this pro actually produces the first time dimension, so maybe I can get somewhere. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back again, up, up to 131,000 antimatter. And I can get... What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get some stuff so I can get more of just everything, I guess. I can just get more time shards, more tick speed upgrades, more infinity power, more regular dimensions. I can probably get this tick speed upgrade. I'm going to get all of these. These don't look too expensive. I do want to be a little bit weary of buying too many things because the matter could increase over my antimatter, but I think I'm pretty good at this point. So I'm making, I think, a couple hundred antimatter per second. Can you, I can even get into one more tick speed upgrade pr pretty safely. And it seems, it seems like tick speed upgrades actually don't affect the challenge 2 thing, so that's actually pretty nice. Although, they're very weak because I'm getting them in bulk from my time dimensions. But I'm now up to the point where I can actually do this, and it's going to actually help me rather than hurt me because of the challenge 2 multiplier. I mean, having the third time dimension is pretty nice. This is why I'm not buying any second time dimensions. Second infinity dimensions, I think, are a little bit better than first infinity dimensions at this point. Same with normal dimensions. Eventually, I'm going to want to save up to get third normal dimensions. And, or maybe even, like, time dimension shift again? I don't know if the fourth one is useful. I mean, it will actually boost some of the other time dimensions, so maybe it's useful. But, yeah, now it's time to wait even longer. See in a bit. And okay, I'm back like a few, not a, not a few hours, maybe one hour later, and you can see I'm getting almost a million antimatter per second, and I'm at 460 million antimatter. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to buy, first I'm going to buy a third dimension, it's going to produce first dimensions, I can also buy a fourth dimension for the achievement, but I don't think that's really worth it. I can also buy another first dimension, this is going to just mostly just boost this multiplier and it's not too expensive i can buy more third time dimensions i'm not sure if i want to go to 16 or if i even can go to 16 at all i could buy a few infinity dimensions but i don't, I don't want to buy anything over a million i can buy all tick speed upgrades and because they don't do anything or they do something good but they don't reset anything i'm, I'm just going to get the fourth dimension just for the achievement um the achievements actually do nothing so that might have been not been the best <laughs> Way to go, but you can see I'm still gaining millions of antimatter, and especially since I'm now gaining more of these dimensions, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty good. And this doesn't do anything. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh yeah. So now I wait even longer. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back like 45 minutes later, and I'm up to 79 trillion antimatter. Previously, my record was literally the square root of this, so that's crazy. I only have about a million matter. You can see just the crazy amount of time left until matter reset. Not only that, well, because it's antimatter, I am going to be able to get fourth dimension, like more fourth dimensions. I can probably get, I can get all of this. I can get a few more of these. These aren't really all that powerful. I don't really want to spend anything more than a trillion on these. I could get more time dimensions, even though, again, these expensive and they don't do very much i could try to go for another time dimension shift but i don't really think it's wor that worth it i'm getting this just so i can increase this multiplier and then i'm gonna buy max tick speed upgrades and yeah i can see i'm up to millions of antimatter i can paradox sacrifice for 12 paradoxes which isn't actually that much considering that i could probably get I, I calculate it's about 20 minutes for a paradox, or for two paradoxes, so it would only take two hours to reach that, versus two hours, probably like probably more like three hours to get to here, plus like two additional resets, so that would be like four hours. So it's still not the best for getting paradoxes, but it's still the best for getting other stuff. I might even 
get a dimension shift. And also, I haven't really looked into this, but I need 36 dimensions for an Antimana Galaxy, which means that I'm actually also trapped in Challenge 10. It's, it is insane how many challenges I am trapped in here. But, yep, that is yet another challenge I am trapped in. But, I, I'm more excited to get Dimension Shift, because I know, yes, it's the literal first layer of the vanilla game, but I've already, well, first of all, I've already dealt with two layers so far, and also I'm not sure where Dimension Shift ranks among the other prestiges. I, I'm pretty sure it ranks higher than Time Dimension Shifts, but I don't know if it ranks higher or lower than Paradoxes. It would suck if it was lower than Paradoxes, because if, if that was the case, I, I would Dimension Shift, and then all the Paradox stuff would reset for a measly two times boost to my first dimension. Yeah, that's not really the greatest. I'm, my, my, my hunch is that Dimension Shift is below Paradox, but Antimatter Galaxy might be above Paradox. Or at the very least, Galactic Sacrifice will definitely be above Paradox. And that's the new game minus minus layer. There's also tick speed boosts, which we haven't even seen yet, which is the minus three layer. I invention shift for the minus four layer. So, yeah, now I wait a little bit more, see if I can get enough antimatter to get to dimension shift. And yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back like a few hours later again. I'm making a quadrillion antimatter per second. I have two quintillion antimatter, which is crazy. And this means that I can get the fourth, I can get 24th dimensions. Which means that, yes, I can do a dimension shift. I am going to export my save. Because I don't know what this is going to do. I can get 21 paradoxes from paradoxes making me think that maybe it, like, even though I have less antimatter, so it might, might be based on, like, number of these bots as well as my antimatter? I'm not sure. But, anyway, let's do this <laughs> prestige layer. 3, 2, 1, bam. Okay, it is lower than Paradox. So, that, that that's what I predicted. And this means I have to start, you know, all over. It doesn't actually reset my time dimension shifts, though. So, maybe it is an equal layer to time dimension shifts? Which is kind of weird, but I've been starting to just try the prestige tree a little bit, and I'm starting to see what, what this idea of equal layer is. And yeah, this means I can get fifth dimensions. That's literally it. Well, and it like multiplies my first dimension by like. <laughs> I mean, it looks more powerful than it is. It's probably due to um, this achievement, which I haven't really told you about. Yeah, but it, yeah, it makes first dimensions one million times stronger, and then it dilation nerfs that to oblivion. No, it's still actually pretty powerful. Like I saw it at like a 30, 35 times boost from before. So basically, it's gonna give an additional like two times boost to my first dimension, which really isn't really it isn't gonna mean much actually. Seriously, I'm basically gonna do the entire run all over again. Well, not the entire run, just the just one reset. So, maybe time dimension shifts do reset dimension shifts. That could be something I haven't really considered yet. And, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't considering it because I wasn't getting dimension shifts. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back overnight, and I can get fifth dimensions for the first time, which is crazy. This means, yes, I get a new achievement here, which really doesn't mean that much. And I'm also going to get some more dimensions. You can see I'm getting more paradoxes, which is interesting. I can even get, like, more infinity and time dimensions. I'm pretty sure that the first infinity dimensions are going to start mattering a lot more in the second infinity dimensions. And then also I can just buy some time dimensions here, which I don't think really do anything. I could try to time dimension shift and... I actually am pretty sure that this will actually reset dimension shifts. So, have I exported my save? I really want to be careful here. 
with this. Let's see. Yeah, I do reset my dimension shifts with the time dimension shifts. So that means I do... That, that means that once I get a dimension shift, I want to stop time dimension shifting. Because I don't want to reset my hard-earned dimension shifts that have, been, that have taken hours and hours to get. So... Yeah, now I wait further, and hopefully, maybe I can even get another dimension shift. I've made, I, I, I was up to like hundreds of quadrillions, not like tens of quadrillions of antimatter, and I could get all the way up to, if I get up to the sextillions, I'll be able to get another dimension shift, which won't be as powerful, but it still hopefully will be pretty good. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like another hour later, and you can see... I can get 25th dimensions. So, there we go. This allows me to get yet another dimension shift. I can also just briefly see how many paradoxes I can get by getting all these dimensions. Seems like it only depends on the the last couple dimensions. Or, like, your amount of all the dimensions rather than the amount purchased of all dimensions. So, that's interesting. I, I want to see if it also... It does not seem to depend at all on infinity dimensions. Actually, it seems to go down, probably because it also is affected by antimatter a little bit. But anyway, we can do another dimension shift, which gives me a another multiplier on the first dimension, and everything resets again. I mean, not everything, but y you know what I mean. I still have plenty of time with Paradox and... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, again, try to go even farther. Try to get maybe Dimension Boost, maybe even Antimatter Galaxy. Now that, that would be crazy. I also want to see if, if Tick Speed Boosts are possible, but I don't see Tick Speed Boosts anywhere. So maybe that's after a Galaxy or something. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm, I've been able to make it all the way to 5th Dimensions, and I'll be, I'm close to 6th Dimensions. And then everything else is going to be impossible because there is no 7th or 8th dimensions here in this mod. Because this is Antimary Minch's new game minus 5. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.